Hey guys. So I just want to show you how to build your own 3XHP70 flashlight. Um, obviously it's built out of another flashlight which was a Husky and I bought it about uh, maybe two years ago at Home Depot and it was an LED light. It uh, was a one emitter LED, very small, three and a half millimeters, uh, and I don't know what uh, what kind, but it was a three C batteries uh, flashlight. Okay, it it uh, took uh, three C batteries and one emitter, and I show you how it looks like when I put it back together. But uh, I kind of. Uh, I kind of got tired about buying new batteries, so I throw in uh, these uh, 26650 batteries and I burned uh, either the emitter or the driver, I don't know. So I decided, uh, it was it was actually a pretty cheap emitter anyway. So I decided I'm going to rebuild it uh, into XHP70. Okay, so uh, number one thing. Uh, since this was a C cell or C batteries a flashlight, it will not take every 26650. But this EBL, it's a decent battery, and that one will fit just perfect. Okay. If you're gonna get, uh, I don't know, I don't have that many. I have the Olight and I have uh, one more, and they just don't fit. They are too big for it. But this just fits perfectly okay so I have two of those EBL 26650 and uh, let's get to the emitter and this part here I know I'm not gonna be very detailed but I will try to describe it as best as I can pretty much this is existing part the top one here sorry this one this is existing part, which is about this deep, and this is the part that I added with the driver, and I glue it with a metal tape, uh, with a duct tape, uh, metal heating duct tape, and this is a, a coupling for a three-quarter inch uh, copper water pipe, which I actually cut to the size, to the right size here. And I can measure it, uh, let you know how, how... How big you want to cut it. So this one is... Uh, whatever, how about if I just show it to you? Since I cannot read it very well. Okay. Looks like the Vonti... No, I don't know. Now it's actually 15, 15 millimeters. Okay. And uh, this is uh, not my. I can read the millimeter, millimeters better on this one than the inches. So it's uh, 15 millimeters. The driver is a 26 millimeter driver. And uh, first you cut it uh, the 15 millimeters um, size. Then you cut it. Uh, kind of so you can open it after you cut it you stretch it open a little bit so it will fit exactly perfect to the uh, to the driver here and it will fit almost perfect uh, to this part uh, of the flashlight then I got the driver okay put this thing uh, pretty much inside and then I solder it here solder it here and solder it here this ring on the outside is actually the same ring on the inside of the driver so you can just sort it on the inside of the driver all right now you got uh, nicely set the driver into the copper tubing um, and this is this is actually important for the dimensions of the uh, batteries because this 26650 is a little bit shorter actually it's longer than the C cell so uh, since this took a 3 C cell and now I'm using only two uh, of these 26650. I'm gonna need a little uh, 
dimension, uh, ring, or whatever you want to call this, pretty much to fill the gap. Okay, so that's why I'm going into those details over that. Um, and then uh, this part here, which came from the flashlight, the emitter was right here, took out the emitter, right, got out the, the driver was actually inside here, it was a 20 millimeter driver, so I take that one out too, and it's just a pretty much like an aluminum shelf, a shelf, shell, aluminum shell, okay, so I melted uh, some, uh, uh, actually it was uh, bullets, uh, lead bullets that I melted into this uh, into this thing here and that came from uh, BB, BB, uh, BB's actually for BB gun and uh, that is four holes here that I, that I screw in you know, four screws flip it over and pour the lead inside so I fill this up with lead all the way up to the top okay so now of course this thing is really nice and heavy you have to go and redrill the holes for the wires for the LED again but the 20 millimeter LED XHP 70 will fit just perfect in here okay so then I set the uh, LED with the paste uh, and uh, this is like a cover this plastic ring is just a cover that will snap over it that used to hold uh, the other LED that was in there of course drill the holes for the wires get the wires through solder the wires uh, actually I'm sorry the uh, driver came with the wires so I got the wires through here solder them to the uh, uh, LED and uh, just got a white out and just got the white out on, on top of it just to prevent it from shortening with the uh, uh, this part here pretty much which is actually getting very close but I don't think it's actually touching after I got this plastic on it I don't think it's um, touching it well I, I know it's not touching at all because otherwise it wouldn't be working and then then I got this uh, rubber ring which is not necessary to have it but I just want to have when I when I put this on and when I tighten this I just want to have a nice connection the LED with this this part here and uh, pretty amazing I haven't re really tested it uh, for a long time but as much as I need to go outside and, uh, and, and use it this uh, doesn't even get hot that much because that heat sink actually it's really good so you know it takes it takes a while before this will actually heat up because the uh, the lead inside uh, it's actually a pretty good heat sink so I guess uh, this is pretty much it and again you have to be careful because this 26 millimeter will just fit perfectly into the tube here okay and after I get the tape over it I cannot almost fit it in there uh, and uh, let's go back to this part here this is the switch at the back of it and this one is actually spring loaded which is nice so as long as you get it within, within this distance with the batteries and everything, you are in good shape. Okay. So this spring is actually serving the purpose of uh, whatever this spring over here, which I don't have, and I don't like too many springs. So that's pretty much it. Now, once you get to this point, it's you know fairly straightforward. Um, this just uh, needs to get it pushed in, and it's really tight fit and I kind of want a tight fit okay and now I I want to watch uh, this thing rotating inside so otherwise I don't want to break the wires and I screw this in like I said it's really very tight so it's kind of it's kind of hard to screw it in but uh, you can make it less tight if you like, I guess. Uh, this is just how it came out. Daddy, and it's fine. Get out! We're just getting water. Okay. So, 
that way. Almost got it in. Okay, nice and tight because uh, the connection goes through through the string here, and uh, this is a part of the head that will pretty much uh, get screwed in by that. This is how it looks here. Okay, now you're getting the flashlight together and now this part here which uh, I'm not too crazy about because this flashlight was actually kind of a thrower for a distance so the beam is uh, kind of narrow but you will see when I take it outside in the evening now remember the uh, remember the uh, ring here is actually making sure that the LED have a good contact with uh, uh, the heatsink, and this is actually pressing on the ring. So I don't want to screw it in completely tight. Just make sure. Okay, just make sure it is uh, pressing on the rubber ring pretty nicely. All right. Now again, only these batteries will fit in here. Okay, EBL 5,000 milliamp hours. Um, back to these batteries, those are not 5,000 milliamps. They are probably maybe four, if that much, maybe 3,500. But uh, I tested them against the Olight, uh, those are 40, I don't know, hold on a minute, the Olight is uh, 4500 and this is definitely less than that, so, but <laughs> these are the only, only ones that they fit to that, and I you can actually, this is funny too, because there is such a tight fit that the air Actually, the pressure of the air just let the battery slide really slowly. Listen. Okay, it takes a while before it hits the bottom. I kind of like it. Okay. Now, screw in the button. You don't have to do with anything with this button at all. That was just perfect, and this is how it looked like when I bought it uh, a couple of years ago. This was pretty much a flashlight, uh, LED flashlight with some cheap LED in it, and three C cell batteries. Um, so now we got a really nice drawer here, and. Uh, it's it's a pretty good light. Okay, I'll take it outside and compare it to you know to other flashlights uh, later on. But uh, it's definitely definitely good uh, good emitter and decent amount of light. So let's go out. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm gonna compa compare this to the A Tactical A1S. Uh, many of you probably know this flashlight. That's a very nice flashlight. Um, I would say a very good flashlight for for that money. It has the XPL. V6, uh, which is about, uh, which is about probably thousand lumens. So, and I'm not going to compare the uh, uh, the low modes or the night mode, which is really stupid. I don't know why would somebody even bring this on a, on a camera, like the many uh, reviewers do it. Uh, if I want to 
night mode I just buy a flashlight for $1.99 on eBay and all of those are right away in a night mode okay I don't need to find a night mode light so anyway I'm just going to compare the high modes which uh, most of the people are actually interested in so here is the uh, 8 tactical A1S and that's a really decent flashlight uh, the distance to the fence is roughly I would say about 70 80 feet okay the distance uh, to that fence is about 90 probably and I'm gonna leave it on and just uh, turn on the one that I built the XHP 70 and uh, you will see the difference right away okay so this is both of them together pretty much now this is just the XHP 70 and that's really nice and warm light and it does have uh, some uh, some flood to it but um, I would like to have a little more and it's a nice thrower it's it's a pretty strong beam so let's go back to the uh, uh, a tactical much wider light or cooler okay so let's stay in one spot and uh, let's see maybe on the fireplace actually it's pretty close let's do it on, uh, on the fence okay now you can see the different now I hit the fence with the XHP 70 or even over there okay the A tactical is a uh, really decent flashlight it has a nice throw and uh, nice flood I would say for daily use for EDC it's a really good flashlight so let's do it again Yeah, you can see the difference. The bad thing about this flashlight is that uh, actually the uh, the cone, the reflector, is not uh, exactly uh, very well built. So, you know, there is not much I can do. But uh, it's okay for the money. It's pretty good. Fifteen dollars for the driver and the and the LED. Okay, that's it.